कैपिटल ऑफ एम नाइनटी फोर नंबर वन म्यूजिक स्टेशन Good morning, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Li Jiming, the Ambassador Extraordinary of Republic of China of Bangladesh, for visiting our East India. It is our honor that he has visited us. Although we, Bangladesh, is doing a lot of business in China, but it's not only they're doing business in China. But Koshundra itself, we are currently involved with twenty projects in China, which has cost over a billion dollars. We are involved. So we like to progress further with China, and I hope China and Bangladesh can build a better friendship tomorrow and today to build a bonding where it cannot be broken. China is a global strength now. We cannot take China as a small country or a small weakness anymore. China is a strong partner of Bangladesh, and I hope we can build further and further to strengthen our power between Bangladesh and Chinese government and Chinese companies. I would like to express my thank you to Mr. Jimmy for coming, and like to know what we are like to do regarding the relationship between our media and the Chinese embassy. How we can patronize them to promote their products in Bangladesh, and also to promote our products in China. We don't want only to import from China. We want to export from Bangladesh to China as well. Yeah. It should be vice versa. It should be vice versa. Thank you, Mandu. So thank you very much. I would like to say my last word. Thanks again to the Chinese embassy and the Chinese team and the Chinese government for cooperating with us for the last 25 years. We've been doing business with China for the last 25 years. And coming 25 years, I would like to be more prosperous, inshallah. Thank you very much. Now, may I request the uh, Excellency Ambassador Mr. Day to say a few words at the beginning. Well, it's a great honor for me to be invited to attend this such a important meeting and especially giving me this opportunity to talk with different characters uh, from different uh, departments of the group and not only the media people but also uh, your uh, business uh, characters. I think the group is very important uh, for the embassy because it is not only a media department of the embassy but also a business part of China. Very important one. I was uh, just uh, told that uh, more than 20 major Chinese companies are actually a very close partners, business partners of the group, which is very encouraging. Well, uh, so I'm very, very uh, honored to have this opportunity to have some quality dialogues to us. Today I bring my Official Council Mr. Liu, together with me, and also Madam Yu, who is the representative uh, chief of the CRI, which is the major media in China, to come with me. And she speak French, I believe. So probably she can also say a few words after my speech. And uh, I as our chairman just currently mentioned that China and Bangladesh enjoys enjoy an excellent relationship with each other. And China values this friendship with Bangladesh. And uh, this friendship can be traced back to very, very long before. And uh, this is a, a relationship far before the formal diplomatic ties are set up. Other than that, we have also enjoyed a very, very good uh, economic cooperation and partnership. For example, 
since 2006, China has been the biggest trade partner of Bangladesh. And also, recently, we are now one of the major investors into this country. And we also have a lot of, uh, say, soft law support to Bangladesh. Some of them are very big ones, like the Palmer Bridge Railway Link, which is a project under the support of Chinese soft law, which is a very good one. I think it's uh, 3.1 billion US dollars. And many uh, projects like this. We have some Chinese uh, aid uh, projects too, including one exhibition center, which could be your competitor someday. <laughs> it's called the China Bangladesh Friendship Exhibition Center. Oh, yes. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, ICCB always play a major role in this <laughs> industry, uh, exposition industry. Uh, but uh, you guys, our chairman, our chairman just mentioned that. Imagine, the, imagine, imagine. imagine there is already, yes. yes. Uh, we have a very good trade relationship, but the trade deficit is in Chinese paper, it's not in Bangladesh paper. We have enjoyed a trade deficit, uh, surplus with uh, Bangladesh, uh, which is not a balanced trade. That is something we should take into our consideration. How to increase this export to China? That is something even I myself is considering. We've been doing something to encourage more export from Bangladesh to China. For example, last year, Chinese government and Bangladesh government exchanged a, a letter, a diplomatic letter, which says that uh, in 97 percent of the goods exported to from Bangladesh to China should be tariff free. No tariff should be uh, yeah, I was doing this twenty at ninety seven percent of the goods. And number two is that uh, we uh, give many, many free goods in those very popular trade shows, including China Import Exposition in Shanghai, which is an annual event. Bangladesh participated in this event uh, twice, which is uh, means, uh, since its beginning. We have already had two sessions, and the third one will come this, this year. But uh, I think this import exposition in China is not so widely aware of by the business circle in Bangladesh. So the participation is not as big as I, I was really expected. So probably through your media, those kind of uh, activities can be more aware of by the general business circle in this country. So we have a lot of topics that we have discussed in this morning. So I should uh, not take too long to, uh, as for the beginning. And I can add, uh, add, add something, and uh, I can have uh, uh, downwards. I'm, I'm glad to take any questions from all of our friends here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you very much for introducing everyone. We almost know everyone, except our Excellency. Now we met. Now we shouldn't have any more problems further. I have some questions to the Excellency. How we can strengthen, like we saw a lot of government projects which has been guaranteed by the sovereign guarantee for funding from China to Bangladesh. But we would like to seek the similar sort of help in the private sector. If you can request your government to invest further with the private companies without the sovereign guarantee, how we how we can build that place? Can, can, can you address that? Just 
This is a very, very important question, I have to say. Uh, Chinese government, the Chinese embassy, encourages both private investors and the public uh, ones to invest into Bangladesh market. Uh, you know that uh, we have uh, quite a few big projects which were invested by state owned enterprises, building some power plants, and uh, highway, and even railway, and so on. But uh, yes, a couple of days ago, I was told by Mr. Liu, by the Russian Council, in government, especially in those in the export processing zones, there are already 100 Chinese companies working in those export processing zones. The Chinese company's number is number one among all other foreign investors. And uh, the total invest volume exceeded, say, 1.5 billion US dollars also which is a very encouraging sign. Actually, we, know, we all know that the uh, government industry is a big industry of this country. And uh, it's very encouraging to see that uh, many more and more Chinese investors, private investors, are now considering Bangladesh, not Myanmar, not Cambodia, not Vietnam as their top priority. So more and more are coming to Bangladesh, especially in the exclusive processing zones. That is very interesting. And uh, definitely the embassy encourage this kind of investment. And uh, we are also doing our job to try to solve some problems. problems. There, are, there are some problems, for example, Companies in the export processing sense, the amount of rewarding, 1% or 3% of the total uh, income by the government, tax-free, but not including foreign companies, including Chinese companies. We think normally, if you want to improve the what we call the investment environment, of any particular country, we have to train the foreign investors, national, what we call national treaty, national treatment. We have to treat them as your nationals. That is a, a basic principle of improving any investment. Right? So I, I, I was uh, seeking opportunities to talk with uh, relevant government authorities in that regard, try to uh, bring the equal treatment of Chinese companies and Bangladesh companies and other foreign companies to, to be treated equally. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, also, those kind of messages can be, uh, can be known to some relevant authorities through your media. I would like to interrupt once again. I would like to further request the Excellency to invite the Chinese banks to come to Bangladesh as well. Like, we have foreign banks, but we don't see any Chinese banks in Bangladesh. We like, we like to invite the Chinese banks to come and participate in Bangladesh economy. Because as we are the largest trading partner, Bangladesh's largest trading partner is China. But we don't have any Chinese banks in Bangladesh. That is very unfortunate. I would like to address that. Thank you. Well, I would like to add a few uh, information here. I think this is a brilliant idea to have a Chinese uh, bank working in Bangladesh. And we are working on it now. Uh, I think two months ago, I visited a Bangladesh bank. And uh, I had the honor to discuss with uh, the governor of the Bangladesh bank. And uh, he was uh, very supportive to the idea of the Chinese bank here in Bangladesh. 
it says that there's no any law restriction, no any regulatory uh, restriction toward that. So the Bangladesh Bank welcomes Chinese Bank to set up their branches here in Bangladesh, which is very encouraging. And uh, yesterday, I talked to this one foreign bank here, who's there. And then they have a foreign bank here in my embassy. I invited the, the general manager of this bank. I, I will not mention the name. They are doing a very good job. 10% uh, of the Chinese businesses in Bangladesh was uh, cleared by this bank. And uh, he also mentioned some very encouraging but he also, at the same time, he mentioned that uh, he, he, he suggested that you should also bear in your mind that banking in Bangladesh is not not being as profitable as uh, in many other markets and because they have um, their hardships uh, in Bangladesh markets, but they are making money, of course. And uh, they are helping to facilitate trade and uh, investment and big projects and so on. So we are seriously considering to bring a Chinese bank to work for Bangladesh society and also for the Chinese community. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In Bangladesh, now we speak uh, Chinese community in Bangladesh right now, we are still in the And but unfortunately, do you have any plan to implement any channel in Dhaka or Bangladesh anywhere? Well, we've been uh, asked to do something. Even there is a specific plan to build a, 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 a gate which, is, uh, which yeah. puts a Chinatown and, and, and something like this uh, in China and Bangladesh. We're thinking of that. But uh, uh, I think uh, we need uh, to have a uh, some uh, more concrete plan, say, where to locate this. Um, the atmosphere, the market uh, is there, and so on. So we're working on it again, but uh, have, there is not any specific, very concrete plan yet. Thank you very much. For your question, I would like to address that as Koshundar Group, we're the largest real estate company of this country. Yeah. Yes. As you said, you can't find space to build your Chinatown. We will be more than glad to provide you land to build the Chinatown in Bangladesh. You can inform your government. If, 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 if you require land, we will give you the land to build a Chinatown in Bangladesh. Okay. 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 I, I think I think uh, this is a very encouraging, very good news for me this morning, it, and uh, I find my business partner now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Excellency. Capital FM ninety four point eight, the share number one music station.